A house is leveled in a propane gas explosion, sending debris hundreds of feet in every direction. Good afternoon. I'm Susan Spiro. It is our top story on News 8 at noon. We have live team coverage in York County, and we begin this afternoon. We will start with York County reporter Ed Weinstock, who is on the scene in Lower Windsor Township. Ed. Susan, this was a doctor's home on a hillside with a picturesque view of the Susquehanna River. But now that house has been flattened by an explosion, just a big hole in the ground. The only thing left standing is the chimney. Investigators are trying to find out what caused the explosion. We've been told that there was an in ground propane tank, but for the moment, investigators are not ready to say if that triggered the explosion and fire. Lower Windsor Township Police Chief Tim Caldwell says there is no reason to believe the blast is suspicious. He says it appears to be an accident. The chief was shocked by the damage. You imagine. A house with a bomb that goes off inside and it just totally explodes and blows everything out away from it. Uh, my, my estimation would be the debris field probably encompasses about a hundred yard direction from around the foundation of the home. For now, investigators are discounting a lightning strike. A firefighter was taken to the hospital for heat exhaustion. Susan? All right, thanks for that, Ed. And we continue our live team coverage with News 8's Ann Shannon, and she has spoken to one of the homeowners. Good afternoon, Ann. Good afternoon, Susan. Blessed, that is how Karen Gish describes her family after this morning's fire and explosion destroyed their York County home. Now, Karen Gish says that the only thing still standing at their home is a cross, which her husband placed on the family's fireplace, a symbol of their strong Christian faith. She says it is perfectly fitting that that is the only thing left standing this morning. Now, John Gish, her husband, is a doctor at Lancaster General Hospital. The couple has three children, ages 21, 19, and 15. None of them were home early this morning. All of us were out of the house, and, and that in itself is just, is just a miracle. Um, I was away at camp with two kids. I had been encouraging my husband to take a few days and go away somewhere um, just because he had off work. Now, Dr. Gish had been fishing in Maryland. He has since returned home to their York County home. The Gishes had lived here for about 16 years, according to Karen Gish, and she says she's not exactly sure what they'll do next. That's the latest from here outside of Wrightsville, York County. Back to you. All right. Just thankful no one was hurt. Thank you for that, Ann. And stay with News 8 on air, online, and on mobile throughout the day for the latest on this explosion. We'll stay at the scene for all the latest developments.